right, I'm gonna be tinkering here with today. Well, I'm just uh, playing around a little bit with the air intake system of the M43B16 and got a tip from a member of the BMW tuning discord channel RK4000 for the uh, M43B16. You can change the uh, air meter and the boot with the version from the M43B18 or the uh, M42 B18, the 16 valve. Those have the same AFM and intake boot. And apparently the M43 B16 AFM and intake boot is a little bit smaller in diameter than the B18. And just to see, I mean, these parts are pretty cheap online for these engines. I got a used AFM air meter from an M42 B18 engine. And I ordered a new intake boot as well from a M43 B18, which fits this one. And apparently there's a size difference in diameter for the B16 and the B18. So we must try to swap those out. What I also got was the air box, M42 air box that came with this. I don't think there's any differences in the air box, but we will measure and compare once I've taken this apart and see if we see any differences to the M42 airbox. It'll be interesting to see any difference in the diameters here in the intake snorkel or this trumpet noise reduction thingy inside, which here I took out already because I'm probably gonna delete this. This is just for, I mean, if you look at it, it goes like, like this to reduce the intake noise. And to me, that looks like a hindrance of airflow because the air has to go in here, a small thing, and then come out in the end and up. So if you delete this, it'll be more free flowing. To me, at least. I mean, I'm always about modifying stock parts to get the most out of those. I mean, this is just an experiment to see if it even works. Um, will this plug in the M42 AFM to this connector? I don't know. Will everything bolt up? We will see. First of all, unscrew the intake boots. Okay, this off. Okay, now I think I'm just gonna remove this whole box first. I mean, this is just really just to see the test, to be honest. I don't expect any real gain. Potentially less restriction in the air intake duct means less work for the engine, means more breathing, more power. Since I do have a camshaft in here, maybe this, I don't know, can help, no clue, but it's not gonna hurt anything. So let's take this box off. This comes off real easily. First glance, this is already pretty interesting. While the air boxes seem to be the same for the B16 and B18 M43, they have the same part number. You can already see on the, this is the one from the car, from the M43 B16, the uh, cutout of the air meter is kind of recessed. It's pretty small and it has an edge here in this inlet. Now. This is the uh, one from the M42 or M43B18. You can already see that this section is a lot bigger in diameter. And when you put the uh, air box on here, you can see there's no recess or edge. It's flush. It's flush. The outlet is flush with the dimensions um, inlet of the air meter. The airflow meter. This is interesting. This is, like I said, the B16, a B18, M42, M43, B18, and this is the M43 Big Steam. Smaller in here, it's flush, which looks, I don't know, a lot nicer for airflow than this. That's one difference already I can see. While the housings, or at least the lids, are the same part number. So this diameter is actually, or this dimensions, is the same. Same width, same height on these two, interesting. Now, 
for the other side, it's clearly, it's obvious. I mean, this is the B16 and this is the B18. I mean, it's just a huge different. You measure, here we have, here we have like 65, 65 millimeter and here it's only 56. So that is, I mean, you can just visually see huge difference. This is interesting. While they keep the air box the same, they make this part bigger. So I don't know, either this is a throttling measure on the B16 to keep it low on power because the air box is the same. This is the same, but the actual airflow meter is smaller. I don't know, but we're gonna, let's see, try if it works, switch it over. I'm gonna use this AFM with the uh, air box I have and remove the inside silencer and then hook it up, connect everything and see if it runs with this air meter. The connectors do fit, they're identical, so that's not an issue. We'll see, nothing to lose. Well, I wanted to remove this silencer completely from the box. Problem here is then this air intake snorkel will be kind of dangling free air and not be connected to the box and it's just gonna fall off inside the engine bay. And I really have a way to fix it. So what I decided to do instead is install the silencer again, but I'm gonna modify it. This is what I'm doing it one handed here. Basically, it goes like, like this through here, and then the air comes out at the very end to the top which I don't know, doesn't really look great for airflow or could be hindering it just to make the uh, intake noise less. I don't really give a shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out two sections. One section here, so it's going to be open um, facing up and the air can just come in and then just go immediately to through the air filter instead of having to go at the exit. So I'm going to cut here and here and have like a wide piece open. That's the best I can do. I wanted to kind of get rid of this little throttle neck, but I have no way of connecting the intake snorkel. And I don't like to leave it open in the engine bay. It's just gonna suck hot air, so it'll be counterproductive. So I'm just gonna cut here at least to get more air or better airflow through here by cutting a hole basically in here, a section out. So like I said, I'm gonna cut this basically here, here, and here. So here we go. I removed this top so it's going to be open. The air can flow up nice and easily. That's the plan at least. You can see here I installed it. I opened the top part, cut it open so now the air can just flow in and then straight up. This is what it's like in the car. I installed it back. This piece is open. I'm just going to slap the air filter in. Then put the top piece again I put the new boot already and then the thing hopefully will fire right up and are we gonna notice anything different probably not but I don't know bigger diameter here I think it's always good to have so let's just see how it drives and if we can tell any difference at all unfortunately I haven't been able to log the uh, BMS 43 ECU yet. I haven't found a way. Log data, like airflow load, so forth. That will be something up for another investigation how to do this. Everything back together. Let's just even see if it starts up with the new AFM air meter. The bigger one will it even work. 
with the ECU, the stock one. There's no clue. Let's see. Okay. That's a little bit rough. I mean, it's cold. The revs. Well, I suppose we're going to take it for a test drive. 